find magnitude and direction of magnetic field at P, where P is the center point of this triangle, that is centrioid. So we have to find out the current is flowing in the given direction, so we have to find out this is an equilateral triangle with each side D, D, D. So each side is equal to D. First let us try, let us draw this figure. This is the center point and equilateral triangle this will be 60 degree and this will be also 60 degree and this will be also 60 degree we call it as this is A, this is B and this is C and the current is flowing like this. Now at this point P we want to find out it means we draw this line, this line and this is we can call it as a point Q and the perpendicular distance this is a current segment. Segment BC that is wire segment BC the wire it acts as a wire in which current is flowing this way this way it means it is flowing in the clockwise direction now we can take this as the point P this is point P and what about if this is 60 this will be 30 degree as it is this is 90 30 plus 90, 120, this will be 60 and same way, this will be 60 and this is 90 and this is total is 60, this will be 30. So we got the point. It means this is, this acts as the point A. That is as it is we have seen, in this we see here, we can draw it like this, this is B, C, this is point P, this is A and this is total distance is D. It means the half the distance is D by 2 and this will be also D by 2. So this is total is D and this is A. This is A and this as it is this point between this PQ, this is 60 degree that is phi 2 is equal to 60 degree and phi 1 is equal to 60 degree that is phi 2 is equal to phi 1 is equal to 60 degree. So the formula is what is that formula? The formula is magnetic field due to a line segment is equal to mu naught by 4 pi n to i divided by A into sine of phi 1 plus sine of phi 2, phi 1 plus sine 2, this is sine 5, this is sine 60, sine 60, that it is 2 sine 60. So, is equal to mu naught by 4 pi into I, we have to find out the A. From here we can find out from this triangle, this triangle, let us see this triangle, this is D by 2 and this is A and this is 30 degree. So what is this? We are not interested. We got this and this. So we can call it tan 30. We will go for tan 30 is equal to A by D by 2. Tan 30 is equal to opposite. This is 90 degree A by A divided by D divided by 2, it will go here. D divided by T or which we can see, what is 1030? Is equal to 2A by D. D. What is 1030? We will try to the triangle for 30 degree. Simple 30 degree means uh, root 3, 1 is to root 3 is to 2. Where 30 is there, put the root 3. This is the bigger side hypotenuse. 1. Tan 30 is equal to 1 by root 3. 1 by root 3 or we can call A is equal to A is equal to D divided by 2 root 3. This is the value of A. A value is A, 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 the value of A is equal to D divided by 
2 root 3. So we will put it for the value of e, we will depend on d divided by 2 root 3. So we can write it here because it will go on the numerator n2. Sin phi 1 is equal to phi 1 is equal to 60 and phi 2 also 60. Sin 60 plus sin 60 is equal to twice of sin 60 degree. See, from this triangle also we can take the value because we want sin 60. Sin 60 is nothing but cos of 30. Cos of 30 is half. Cos of 30 is equal to root 3 by 2. Root 3 by 2. This is equal to root 3 by 2. Otherwise also we can try the triangle. We will try it for 60 degree. It means this is 90 degree. This will be 30 degree. So root 3 will come here. 1, this is hypotenuse. 1 is to root 3 is to 2. It will be the ratio. And sin 60, sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2. So this will become, this, this cancels 2 is equal to mu naught by 2 pi into i and divided by 3 into root 3 into 2 into 2 into sin 60. What is sin 60? Sin, sin 60 is equal to root 3 by 2 into root 3 by 2. So root 3 root 3 is equal to 3. These two and these two get cancelled. So this will become is equal to mu naught by 2 pi mu naught by 2 pi into i divided by d root 3 into root 3 is equal to 3. This is the magnitude of b magnitude of b due to this line segment bc so root 3 by 2 or we can write 3 by 2 mu naught so for the segment bc for segment bc bc magnetic field is equal to 3 by 2 mu naught into i 3 by 2 mu naught into i mu naught and i into pi d. Direction we can find out right hand thumb rule since for this segment it goes like this. We put the thumb here and we will grip it like this. Here inside it goes, outside it comes. It means this side is going inside, this side is coming outside. We are interested at this point. So it will be, this is the magnitude. And for this point also same, we can do it same exactly this is this will become a and this will become a and this is for segment ac for segment ac b magnitude of b magnitude of b is equal to same exactly it is tilted like this same that is same and what about this direction because current is coming downward direction so we will go for upward and if you are going in, moving in upward, thumb is upward, so current is moving downward. Let us keep it, uh, hold it on the upward direction. It means here it is coming out. It means reverse of the direction is going in. How? We will do it like this also. It means, see here, this is the conductor. When you go, so this side of the conductor it is going inside and this side of the conductor is coming out. That is what I written here. For same sector, section AB, AB and this is also same direction and sector EAB, AB magnitude of B also same and what is what about the direction? See it is going like this, this is the conductor, we grip in the thumb in the direction of current. So it is going inside, here it is coming out. It means it is going inside, it is coming outside. Why it is going inside? Because this side of the conductor, the magnetic field is going inside and the point also, this side of the conductor, here also, this side of the conductor, the point P is here. So this is the, since magnetic field, magnetism is a vector quantity, we have to add it in vector quantity only, in vector addition only we have to do, no scalar addition. So this will produce a magnetic field at this point, this segment will produce a magnetic field at this point, this will produce a magnetic field at that point. Now, we will 
vector we will do the vector sum what is the vector sum since magnetic some net b magnetic field net is equal to b1 plus b2 plus b3 so here with the, this may be plus this may be minus all are in the same direction here it is in the same direction because the magnetic field for this section sector is inside here also inside here also here also it is inside due to this one inside due to this in, inside at point p so it means all are inside it means all net will be inside only at p so is equal to what is b1 since magnitude of b1 b1 we call this b1 b2 b3 all are same or we can call it as three times of b1 or b2 or b3 are simply b because magnitude of b1 is equal to same b2 or we can write b1 is equal to b2 is equal to b3 is equal to b and three b is three magnitude 1 2 3 magnitude so three times of b or b or b1 and the net direction is in this way so is equal to 3 magnetic field net due to the triangle segment at p at p is equal to 3 into b what is the value of b b is equal to m to 3 by 2 mu not i divided by pi into d and this is it means the net magnetic field is at p at p is n to the plane of the board now we can I write the answer so the total magnetic field magnetic field at p due to three segments segments of wire ab comma bc and abbc and ca as magnetic field is equal to 3 into 3 9 by 2 into mu not i by pi d 3 9 2 y d and the magnetic field is into the plane of the ball this is the answer this figure is a square of side 2d now we have to find out the current is flowing in the anti clockwise so we have to find out what is the magnetic field at the center due to this this wire this wire this wire and this wire we will find it separately since magnetic field is a vector quantity and we will add all the magnetic magne magnitude of magnetic field vectorially because it is a vector quantity we cannot scalarly add we have to add vectorially that is total b is equal to is equal to b1 plus b2 plus b3 plus vector addition one vector is in the opposite direction we will put minus sign that's all so now we will take this segment ab this is e this is b this is point p we will join this point and we will join this point this is a square and this diagonal will make an angle 45 degree and this is 45 degree and this is the a e, this we call it as a q and this distance is 2d means this will be d and this will be d so what is e value of a see this distance is e this is e which is equal to half this distance half this distance e is equal to d and this is point point p so this is making 45 degree and this will also make 45 degree it means what this will be also 45 degree 
this will be also 45 degree. Why? Because this is 90, 45 plus 90 plus 45 is 180. Same way here also this is 90. So it means phi 1 is equal to 45 degree and phi 2. Phi 2 is equal to 45 degree and phi 1 also equal to 45 degree. That means phi 1 is equal to phi 2 is equal to 45 degree. So this is like a current segment. The current is flowing like this. Okay. Now we will use the formula. What is dB? Sorry, B by using Bayer's formula. B is equal to mu naught i by 4 pi into a into sine of phi 1. Phi 1 is equal to 45 degree plus sine of phi 2. Phi 2 also 45 degree. So phi 1, 45, 45, if you draw 45, this is 1 is to 1 is to root 2. Sine 45 is equal to 1 by root 2. So this is, and a is equal, what is the value of a? a is equal to d, a is equal to d. This will become mu naught i divided by 4 pi. In place of a, we can substitute d into sin 45, 2 sin 45. Sin 45 is 1 by uh, root 2. So this is b and we call it as a b1. This is a portion 1, wire 1. We call it as wire 1, magnitude of wire 1 is equal to this much. And this, this we can cancel to. So B1, we will write in five terms of vector is equal to mu naught I by 2 root 2. This is 2, 2 root 2, 2 root 2 into pi d. What is the direction of magnetic field? We will use right hand thumb rule. Current is flowing this way and we will hold it like this. It means this side it is going inside, this is coming outside. At this point, because of this, it will be at P, it will be like this. It's equal to at P due to, due to, what is this? Due to wire AB. AB. Now BC will be also the same because this is it's a square. This will be also 45. This will be also 45. So this is segment wire BC, that is B2. B2 and the current is flowing like this. We will grip like this. Thumb this way. It means in this point, this line, it is going this way. Here it is coming out. It means here it is coming out. Here it is in. And with the same, because this is similar, the magnitude for this wire will be also same like this one. It is here at this point, it is inside and that is b2 is equal to mu naught i by 2 root 2 pi d here also same b due to wire bc and b3 this is with the direction because it here also the same thing magnitude will be same this will be 45 this will be 45. This will be also 45 this is, since this is 90. So this is A, A, which is equal to D. So this is similar to this one, this is similar to this one, and this this is similar to this one. It means magnitude for all are same. B3 is equal to mu naught I into 2 root 2 pi into D. Here what is the direction? Current is flowing here this way, this way, here down. So we will thumb in the direction of current. It means here it is going inside, here it is coming outside. Here it is going inside, here it is coming outside. We are interested to find out here, which is inside this one. Also same for wire DC. Yes, same for DC and same for AD also, B4. B4 is equal to mu naught I divided by 2 root 2 pi d because this is a 45 minute this will be also 45 this will be also 45 same story repeats and this is a for this one this is a which is equal to d so exactly same what about the direction see now the current is for a d for wire a d 
Current is flowing this way, thumb in the direction of current. It means inside, this is the wire, this is the wire. It means here it is curling the finger, thumb in this direction. It means here it is going inside, here it is coming outside. It means here it is inside, it is outside. With respect to this conductor, it is going inside and it comes outside. So for AD, here is same. So what is the magnetic field? So all the magnetic field N2 due to this segment also 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 N2 it means all are in the same direction. So total magnetic field will be N to the at P due to all the four elements B is equal to vector sum vector sum of B1 plus B2 we add all the magnitude it means mu naught I by 2 root 2 into pi into d into 4 times 4 times and the magnetic field is inward 4 in the 4 this will become 2 then 2 by root 2 is equal to root 2 into root 2 divided by root 2 is equal to root 2 so this we can write magnetic field is equal to root to mu naught i because this and this get to two, two, two root to root to into pi d into this plane. This is the net magnetic field, net magnetic field at p due to this segment, this segment, this segment, this segment of the y is root two times mu naught i pi d and total magnetic field net magnetic field is inward at the point p